cops. <laughs>
keeps her going, and you know, she sits in the chair and does that all day, and she used to sit in the chair and just do this. <laughs> so it's a big, 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 big help. I got my mom with me now. She ended up, she ended up from my Yeah, yeah. 
have allowed, you know, people to, you know, to language it was going to be the only thing that stops you from loving someone. If not understanding a single fucking word the other person said, it's going to somehow get between said reception, and then there was a slash, right? Reception, slash, reception. (laughs) 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 We have elections like in in, in America, and then elections are like important, because you vote for the wrong guy, and the world blows up.
lady thing. <laughs> So 
not even hear the announcement and shit, and I have to explain, you know, you know, to my mother the simplest game ever. <laughs> over and over and over. And then just people and then uh, just for some girl walk in front of you to get to go, ah, oh, you didn't miss anything, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's only a 190 yard run back. <laughs> the guy ran back and then he forgot his way and ran. <laughs> he, he dropped the football. He had to go back and get it. And then he ran again. But it's cool. It's, I'll show that show again. <laughs> I like highlights better than lies. No Are you enjoying the lunch? <laughs> I like, I just start watching when it's a guy kind of bad laugh. <laughs> That's good, yeah. I just like the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking? What is 
is the sports fucking time. <laughs> We got to involve the girls. <laughs> and the girls love sports too, we all know that. <laughs> I wrote some jokes down on a piece of paper. I had to take them to a school. <laughs>
14 uh, consecutive life sentences in 30 days. <laughs> is all right, you know, and sometimes I think it works out okay. Like, I got, I, I got a kid, had a kid, still do. <laughs> still undead, not undead. <laughs> and Kimball, no, he's, he's not a, a zombie, he's alive. <laughs> and he's just not with us, he's with you, not <laughs> You know, anyway, the point is, do I have a point? I do. Here's I don't. I'm confusing and fucking I never told my smoke. I said, smoke is bad. Don't smoke. I never fucking smoke. You, know, you imagine me smoking? Think, think about it. Be like me, not smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I go out and I'd be in the bathroom like once I, once I do the next time. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 Ha, <laughs> 
But I am. Well, when you get old, everything changes. And, you know. I mean, when you're real young, you're like some sort of crazy, like superhero that doesn't die and just has. You know what I mean? Like, like when you're really young, like you can lose a tooth and another tooth will grow. I don't know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have any role, you lose a tooth, that's the you know, just, uh, I don't know. Like a soup. <laughs> I don't think a, a tooth's going to grow in. Like, uh, so. <laughs> but people don't know when you grow old what happens until you get old. Like, I spend a lot of the day going like this. What's going on with my left arm? <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, even for us, it's quite complicated. <laughs> Red string stuff. In fact, in the book, you don't mention in the book all that red string stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go, I guess I trust. <laughs> Sometimes you know, doctors just, first of all, I don't know why they do this, but they do it every time and you just accept it and you never question it. Like my mom's always like, oh, the doc says, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the doc says I'm just getting old.
Yeah. 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 So, so, 
people. You don't understand? What's your life? What are you living like? Fucking cotton candy? <laughs>
depression. Now, uh, he, his memory will always be alive because uh, whenever the depression comes up, you know, I'll say, God damn, people go, this depression was tough. I go, of course it's tough. What about my grandfather, my great grandfather, motherfucker? He was so broken by it that he went out into the North 40, found the sturdiest palm tree there was, and, uh, and uh, he ended his life. His life ended on that branch, and then people go, God damn, he sounds mysterious. <laughs> and I go, yeah, I'm a pretty mysterious fucker. <laughs> now, if you have a story, let's say this is your story. Hey, my Aunt Ruth died of congestive heart disease. People go, don't tell that story no more. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like an unmysterious uh, lady. <laughs> Did you, uh, think of, did you use those words in the stream? Uh, Aunt Ruth? Golly, Wally, one day you get up and tell her funny. Shut the fuck up! Jewish, what would Gina be? Go back to Hamilton! Sometimes when you're uh, stand up, like weird sex uh, things are throwing you away, 
I've never accepted them because they're always creepy, but it's always a guy or her husband or something. I've had many times, like, a girl will be like, I really like to fuck you. They go, really? Yeah. And my husband. I go, oh, no. <laughs> I'm a civilized human being. I evolved, like, you know, I used, to be, I used to be a monkey and shit, a swine and all that stuff, and I finally became a human being so that I wouldn't have to do all that stuff. I don't know, I'm not trying to be better than anybody, but I just don't want to be an animal. I try to be, I want to be better than an animal, like a swine. <laughs> <laughs> My parents were teachers, you know. The show ended, I don't know how long ago. I'll have 
to strike it with the uh, stake right between uh, the uh, the breast bones and shatter him, and then he dissolves into sand, which he is. That's all he is. Yeah. And uh, I gotta do that, or else I'm fucked as a lightning neck, and then I'll live forever. <laughs> really, it's a win win worst outcome that uh, you uh, have eternal life and you get to be a cool Dracula yourself. <laughs> and this is one thing about Dracula. Nobody cooler than a fucking Dracula. Like, Dracula, oh man, you, you can get ladies. Like, you can be the handsomest dude like in this audience. And you can be with a lady and you go, I'm very you know, confident about myself. My girl loves me, and I'm a very handsome man. And then a Dracula walks in, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Dracula's gonna fuck my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, damn it. It's too bad, but that's the way it goes. Dracula's. It's so bad. Ladies love Dracula's the way, the uh, same way, uh, you know, uh, babies love stray dogs. <laughs> I don't know how we pay good money. 
you know, I made this job 25 years. <laughs> I made uh, I made it money. But no, I I, I, I get a dog. You know, I mean, ah, it's a dog. And then, oh, ouch! Oh, fire landed on my head. <laughs> oh damn, my head's on fire. Okay. That's cool. That's a dog. Right, right, here you go, honey. There's a dog. That's not the dog you like? <laughs> well, I'm not going to do that again. Because I'm very, very hungry. And, uh, you know, I feel like, like, I'm just going to. Hey, sir, uh, remember our meeting? I dragged you out of the fire. Give it a sandwich. <laughs> Anything at all? Can you eat? No? You don't? I should get it out. <laughs> You can't find a job. That's what people tell people that don't get a job, don't have a job. Homeless people and stuff. Get a fucking job. Just go get a job. Go to some, go to an interview and uh, you know, write down that you're um, you haven't had a job.
and she's not a trace of irony in her face, you know. And she, she'll, she'll come out, she'll leave my apartment, come back, go, I met the most interesting lady in the whole world at, at the grocery store. And she told me the funny story about a pumpkin. And then uh, she tells me that's a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I wish I was her. She was me. Um, because, you know, it's just, she's just lucky. Uh, but I'm trying, you know, you got to do this step by step. Just try, you know. So I'm trying with homeless people because I'm so, you know, I just, I just pass homeless people. And then here they are, their fellow, you know, like, because I'm, I, I believe in God, you know, so I believe that all people are, are immortal. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you look at things that way, it changes your, your, your viewpoint, you know, you don't go, that's a filthy animal, you know, the person, you go, that's an immortal being, you know. So, uh, but still, I can't get, uh, I still can't be good. I don't know why, I just can't. So I walk by homeless people, and I feel bad, even for selfish reasons, I should give money, so I don't feel bad. But, um, but I do feel bad. So I walk by, this is because the homeless guy lives near my house, I walk by, and the guy's like, you got a dollar? I go, I got no fucking dollar. And he's like, there's a dollar falling out of your pocket. I'm like, oh, that's... My dog. <laughs> That's my fur gum. That's my gum. So then I go to the store and buy a bunch of gum. And then I walk home. And, uh, and uh, the same guy's there. He's like, hey, you got a dollar or gum or something? And I'm like, I got fucking shit. Get the fuck out of here. What's wrong with you? I don't like you. I hate you. You know, you live on the street. Look, you eat like a coffee studded melon rind. <laughs> hey, hey, <cat. laughs> Anyways, you know, that's not good. I don't want to end up being raped by the devil for all the time. <laughs> I'm not a good guy. You know. That's how I live my life. I don't want to be great by the devil. Bro. Just do the best I can for that amount of time. And then there might be no doubt, it might be completely wrong. But, but, I don't know. I'm not really strong enough to be an atheist. You know, I'm jealous of people. Because I'm not like, smart enough to be an atheist. I, I need uh, I need God, you know. I, I just, it's just something I need in, uh, in my life. And uh, if you tell somebody you're uh, religious or Christian or something, you may as well be, say you're a retard. <laughs> <laughs> Because I try to tell them about love. I'm like, you guys know about love. No, war, religion. What about love? I said, no, war, rock, stony. It's kind of like more expensive. But, uh, but there's no use, you know. Like, I don't want to be preachy, right? I hope this doesn't come across preachy. But you ain't getting to heaven without Jesus Christ. <laughs> Now, people wonder why Christians are preaching, you know, you know what the fuck is that? It's because it says it in the book, you got to do it. You got to tell people. You know? It's not my idea. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> personally, I, 
would be fun for me to be in heaven all happy. Why should my friends get raped by the devil? <laughs> <laughs> that was what I would do. <laughs> but I'm not a big enough person, you know. <laughs> I think if I was an atheist, though, I'd go, I'm going to sit in this chair forever. Watch be rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be my life. Fuck it. I'm not going to do nothing, ever. <laughs> the last thing I would do would go, it would be to try to get other people to be atheists, too, so we could talk about it. That would be my... <laughs> In my least favorite thing ever. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, excuse me, uh, you, with the glimmer of hope in your eyes. Here, I have to say something. <laughs> I'd like to let you in on something. You were born, you'd get old, sick, and die, and then dirt. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about it? We can all go and talk about it. Me and my friends fucking talk about it all the time. I go, fuck it, I'm not going to be rich. <laughs> I watch Big Witch on me. You know how you have those channels where they see old shows? Those are my favorite, like, because I'm an old man, so I watch, like, on Matt Locks. I never lost the case. Three's <laughs> Company, and so on. And, uh, Bionic Man is my favorite part of that. One time, I saw a thing, and my phone came on. Uh, one time, I saw a thing where the, uh, where the, watch the guys going, get the fuck off stage, right? <laughs> hey, Dylan, how you doing, bud? <laughs> Hi, buddy, what's up? Oh, good. I'm going to put you on speaker, hold on. <laughs> What's happening? Hey, what's up, boy? Write some funnier jokes, Dylan! I'm doing uh, uh, some stand-up. One fellow don't care for me too much. I can't hear much of anything you're saying now that I'm on that speaker. Oh, you can't hear me? Uh, I say I'm doing stand-up comedy. <laughs>
when you're blowing my house. I'm not really not. <laughs> Like, you know, if you go home and your wife's having sex with 200 men, 
you know, you're not going to go, I just came home to say, I love you, honey. So are you trying to play some kind of record or something? I don't know what's going on here, but I just want you to know that this condition that exists that doesn't affect my love for you. So we have all kinds of conditions on everything we do, but not a dog. They love it, you know. I read that Hitler had a dog. Now, Hitler does not deserve love. The dog loved Hitler more than anybody. Dog wake up in the morning, where's Hitler? He had to work, he's at work. God I, damn, I love you too there, Goebbels. Where, Hitler is the greatest man who ever lived. Where is he? Where is he? That's not a good sentence out of context. Right. One of the greatest movies ever made. Oh, I see the light. I should go. Listen. The name of the pale Nazarene. Love is all. God bless you. Jelly? What? Do you have any red jelly? What did you just say? Uh, strawberry jelly would be fine. Cherry, if you have cherry. Really any red jelly. Uh, uh, pomegranate! That's not easy to locate in these parts. Pomegranate jelly. Oh, great. Okay, I guess I'll be taking care of this. Let's hope for red jelly. Come on, red jelly. Looking for some cherry jelly now. Smells pretty good here. Yep, yep, that's got it. Whoa, jackpot. 